Miners and crafters, welcome back to my Metacraft series. It is episode four, and once again, I've actually been very, very busy. If we look right behind me here. Hi, that's my beautiful face. Hello. Uh, we have put our slot machine, I guess you could call it, in. I like to just call it the reward system. The big plan for money making with this mountain is is to provide people with arcade tokens when they successfully complete a game and those tokens can be redeemed here for random prizes so i'm going to show you a little bit more of you know the guts of that and the different things you can earn and how it works in a little bit but first i'm going to show off this brand new game that we've added to the server and it's called the shooting gallery mini game because I couldn't think of a better name or a more like creative fun name So it, it, it works. It serves its purpose It uses target blocks. I know there's a lot of that going around But I still think this is fairly unique in its own So you're gonna want to take one of the arcade bows out of here because you don't want infinity or Flame messing with your shots. Also, it's a way to make sure that you only use the amount of arrows that I provide. So I'm going to take out one shiny to pay. It costs one to play, and it's going to give me... So I put my diamond in here. It's going to give me 64 arrows. And then this door is going to open, and it stays open for a bit. So you don't have to worry about running in there. See, it's still open, still open... And it closes. So plenty of time to get in here. And here it is. This is uh, this is basically it. All you have to do is hit eight targets in a row to successfully win the game. So you start here and you go around. So hopefully I don't embarrass myself here and I can actually get it done within these 64 arrows. I gotta focus. See, I already missed. I made this thing and I'm even I'm not even that good at it. Oh, oh. Oh wait. Oh I did it! Oh my gosh, I thought I missed. So there's no ding. Where's the ding? Why didn't it ding? What? Okay, we'll try again. This has worked, like, every time. Until now. People have even played this. Oh, I was too slow. People have even played this and gotten their tokens and... Hmm. Why didn't it work for me? Uh, now I'm gonna just keep messing up, aren't I? The tilt has set in. Interesting. Let's see. I missed. Darn it. This is going to be tough. No, please. Come on. And I'm out of arrows. I'm not going to be able to do it. Damn. All right. I think I'm going to have to investigate what went wrong here. Give me a minute. All right. Well, I went back there and I fixed what I identified to be a small inconsistency, you could call it. And I'm just surprised that it didn't affect anybody else. But so I'll show you what happens if you lose. Uh, you have to leave the not so honorable way, which is through that door. The honorable way would be through this nice yellow door, white door with yellow around it. You know what I mean? So and then you pop up here. This is uh, how you're going to exit all of the other mini games. Obviously, aside from Cloud War, the way you exit Cloud War is you just die. <laughs> that was pretty uh, violent. Okay, so we're going to try this again. I don't mind spending my diamonds on this because I get my diamonds right back. So, boop. And boop. Put the shiny in. All right. Round two. Just missed. Jeez. Fuck. Shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby. Come on. Ding, ding. Ding. Yay. Arcade token. Oh my god, we actually did it. I didn't rage at all. All right, here we go. <laughs> Up the stream we go. This time we are victorious. And now I will show you how this functions before I show you how it functions. All right, here we go. So I'm going to pop the token in here. Get a little sound. Another sound. Another sound. Doesn't sound like a happy sound. And then... Hey, we got our diamond back. So diamonds are probably the most common thing. And not probably. They are the most common thing that you can get back from the rewards. So some of the fun of playing is that you can get your money back. But also there are some really, really good rewards in the system. So I'm going to go back into the redstone area and show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's kind of tough to move around back here. But this is, right, this barrel right here is where you put the tokens in. And of course, there's a sorting system, so only these tokens can come through and nothing else will be accepted. It'll just stay in this hopper. So the first thing that happens is when that gets accepted, this dropper will send either a dirt block or a grass block into this water stream, which goes down to these two sorters that accept either the dirt or the grass block so we already have some randomization there and then if the dirt block happen uh, happens to be selected it'll send either a piece of stone cobblestone or stone brick and if a grass block is selected it will send either a piece of stone stone brick or smooth stone so no cobblestone in that and those pieces of stone are related to the different tiers of rewards so cobblestone is the worst tier of rewards stone is the uh, second worst then we have the second best which is the stone brick which nobody's got any of those yet and then somebody beagle actually already got one of the jackpots lucky him and it was only one time rolling in the highest tier of rewards so he got very lucky with that I think what I got, my reward was the second to uh, the second worst tier. Yep, this was the diamond, so I'll put it away. I don't want to show all the rewards, so I'm just going to show you a sneak peek of what's in the droppers at the moment. I'm not going to show you anything that's further in the chest. So here in the first dropper, we've got beagle plushies, netherite ingots, elytra. There's a jackpot. I'm not going to hover over it so you can't see anything. Uh, shulker shells, netherite scraps, creeper heads, diamonds, diamond blocks, really good stuff in that tier. We got diamond gear, uh, more shulker boxes and shells, some more netherite scraps, sponges, turtle shells, some really cool stuff in that tier. Uh, in the second tier, it's the most you know likely to return you a diamond for your efforts. It's also the most likely tier that you will end up rolling in. Actually, it seems that so far the most likely one has been the cobblestone. So I'm giving away soul speed and some diamonds and some golden apples and gilded black stones. Some cool things in this one as well. And in the worst tier, you could get yourself a block of redstone, some dragon's breath, saddle, horse armor, music discs, you know. So clearly there's plenty of incentive to play these games that I'm going to have in this arcade to earn these tokens if you have the possibility of paying one diamond and getting an elytra or a jackpot or you know some cool unique items i think that is well worth the price and since you also get to play a fun game and i'll have choices for different games soon then i think this is going to be a decently profitable uh business venture so right now i've made two of those diamonds are mine so i've made 27 diamonds so far that's not bad the game's been on the server for about a week now, but I have just put the rewards in like two days ago. So 27 diamonds in two days, pretty sweet. I'm really excited about that. I'm sure it's going to keep on getting more usage, and, and now that people are going to see what rewards are in there, hopefully more and more people play it. Before I forget, I needed to also show off 
the different sounds associated with the different tiers. So we're going to call this tier A and this tier B. So tier A's sound, okay, is that. Tier B's sound is that. So if you hear this sound, there is no chance that you will hit tier 4, which is the highest tier. If you hear this sound, there is a chance that you hit tier 4, and there's no chance that you hit tier 1, which is the lowest tier. Okay, so I can't put a torch underneath the note blocks for the different tiers down here, so I just have it ready so I can hit it, and this is the note, the exact note that you're going to hear. So if you get tier 1, which is the worst tier, you're going to hear this sound. Tier 2. Tier 3. And tier 4, the best tier. And also, last but not least, if you get a jackpot, this is what happens. And attention, please remove jackpots before opening. Thanks. That means take it before you open it. Because if you open it, then this painting is going to pop off. And yeah, that's just annoying. So this isn't a jackpot, this is just my redstone box so I can put my redstone torch away. Haha, <laughs> fooled all you! Alright, let's head over to the shopping district because we have actually added a new shop for ourselves right down here in this little corner here. And before I go any further, I just want to say anybody on the server that's watching this, you're totally allowed to put a shop over this shop. I don't mind. I kind of wanted that to happen to be honest, so feel free to build above this. Uh, I went with Metamorphic Cave for the name because, you know, rocks is what we're selling and metamorphic is a form of rock. You got igneous, you got sedimentary, and you got metamorphic. And it's metacraft. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're selling cobble, we're selling stone, stone brick cracked stone brick uh this thing smooth stone and a site granite diorite grass and dirt because we have way too much malik has been making m a massive hole and we have many resources so we are just going to try and get rid of them that way last episode i showed off an incomplete shop and i wanted to do it justice and show off the completed shop right here lady zentra has finished the gifts from the desert shop she's got a little armor stand with her face on it and ooh, i didn't know this was here so welcome to the gifts from the desert here you may play special order requests example joe bob <laughs> two shulkers red tara Ooh, okay interesting that will probably be utilized by me at some point in the future for sure and then also another update to the shopping district is over here beagle decided to rebuild the wood shop and i love it it looks great uh you did some cool terraforming in the back i don't think it's finished right here yet but it's almost done and i love it it looks great it makes this corner feel a lot more alive so that's that for the shopping district let's head into the nether now because i've also been very busy in the nether and you'll see in which way like right now whoa i built another hub for the whole server i i, I uh, went ahead and dug into my pockets got a bunch of sand and gravel out and white dye and made just long hallways that's all it's nothing special it's just really long hallways and also little pockets for where portals are so this is the shopping uh, no nope, sorry starter district portal and this needs a roof still I, ha I got lazy i guess and didn't put a roof on it down this way this is beagle's base over down this way i think hang on there's a sign here somewhere it's power works ltd i think it's because beagle and turnip all the way down here and actually alpha mike has returned to the server so he's got his base going maybe i'll check that out uh turnip has an amazingly large base and i just want to kind of fly around that really quick show it off and he's starting to terraform the area and turn it into netherrack look at that thing 
Unbelievable. So cool. Soul fire on the top. Let's see if we can fly through without getting hurt. Woo! We did it. That was graceful. Back in the portal. So other than placing the blocks, all I had to do was dig out the tunnels and bring everybody's portals down to the same level. And I realized that I missed Kaze's portal. It's somewhere up there, so I got to bring that down for him and finish off the nether hub. That's the only portal that I believe hasn't been linked up. So we have this little area for the shopping district, and so I decided to build a little something for the gaming district, but... Uh, Lady Zentra decided to work with me on it. We collaborated for the first time on the server, and we made a little arcade. I know, I already have my own arcade, but this arcade's different. It doesn't take your diamonds and give you cool rewards. This one is just a, a cool arcade that you can hang out in, and you can only get in if you have something to shoot this target block with. And boom, we got lights in here. Let me turn them on so they go all the time. Let's see those lights. Boom. All right. Look at this. Isn't this so cool? We've got arcade games. Come up, press the buttons. Boop, 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 button mash. We've got a, uh, I don't know what you would call this, a, a clerk maybe. Uh, I was, I was going to say bartender, but probably not what you would find in a arcade. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the, f I was really excited about this because this is the first time that I got to work with Lady Zentra on something. And speaking of that, it actually led to a bunch of other projects together. I helped her out with a bunch of farms over at the starter district. And I also helped her with the sorting system at her base. But while I was helping her at the starter district, I kind of got a little bit carried away with bringing sheep from point A to point B. So here's the clip of that. So I'm helping Lady Zentra make a little uh, wool farm. And I, I, I'm too distracted. She's doing this, and I'm trying to make sheep fly with me. Oh, it didn't work that time. Oh, that one just died. Big death. Rip. Yep. All right, here we go. Round two. I believe I can fly. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes, 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 let's go, oh no, he fell, he fell, oh no, <laughs> oh, where's my lead, I don't care about his guts, <laughs> where's my lead, <laughs> no, that's flesh, oh man, was he worth the life of my lead. Probably a little bit, yeah. All right, you. Oh, you landed in water. <gasps> That's genius. I should do it over the water. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm like throwing sheep now. <laughs> uh... Whoa! Here we go. Here we go. We got our sheep. We got our sheep. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's in the water again. Yes! I don't know. Come back into the water because, like, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to kill him. <laughs> Do we have the sheep? No, we don't. Oh, there he is. Okay. I think the second rocket is usually where it breaks. It's this part here that makes me, like... Yes. No, 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 don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> this is going great. This is going fantastic. So far, so good. Let's get to the water. Let's get to the water. I think we're there. I think we made it. Mr. Sheepy. Let's go to the moon now. We're gonna go to the moon. You're gonna be the first sheep to go to the moon. How cool is this?
Oh my gosh, Mr. Sheepy! Oh, I'm out of rockets. Rocket man! Oh no, Mr. Sheepy, where are you? I don't see the sheep. <laughs> Where's the sheep? Oh no. Did he just go set into orbit? Where's the sheep? There he is, okay. I got dizzy for a second there. Where's my lead? Oh my gosh, there it is, okay. Oh, wow. You <laughs> are <laughs> the best sheep ever. Best sheep ever. Oh, I have no more rockets. Uh, all right, I guess we're swimming in. I was about to, I was definitely about to kill him right there. <laughs> Was I just upside down while I was typing that shit? <laughs> Minecraft is so great because, like, I've been playing it since 2009, and I still find different ways to just giggle like a little kid. I'm 23 now, and this game just makes me so happy. I love Minecraft. That was the silliest and most wholesome thing I've ever experienced in like years in this game come on in buddy he's definitely like he's he, he belongs here oh my god i can i can sense that dinner bone's gonna walk out this door the moment it's open okay boom ha he was coming for it i know you i know you too well you're slow you're slow all right <clears throat> the sheep is my sheep now and i need to think of a really clever name for them uh something that's punny and has to do with maybe them being like an astronaut but a sheep so i'm gonna i'm gonna look at oh uh, that was a really smooth exit i'm gonna look into that and i still have rockets i just tried to fly away nothing about that exit was smooth <laughs> so just to quickly finish the little nether hub tour we have the end portal down that way and lady zentra's portal over here she has this for her portal room Pretty, pretty cool. We can go take a peek at what she's got popping. That was really white of me. This is the little sorting system I helped her with. Really big and ugly. She's going to make it look pretty. And she's got a lot of half-finished buildings around. But it's just because quartz is a really expensive building block. And it takes a while to get it. And I'm sure that's not a fun grind but i can't wait until all these things are taking shape looks like something's gonna go here at some point so this is gonna be really cool i can't wait to see she, she's doing a lot of terraforming and i don't know what this is it looks kind of like a leaf that has water spilling out of it i don't know though so normally i would hop into the end and get back to my base that way it's much quicker than taking the ice path but I wanted to take the ice path to show off that I went ahead and finished our side of the nether hub as well. And I made our volcano much bigger, much cleaner. I also put a bunch of mob heads around that I have. I thought it was a really cool idea. We've got some withers right over here because we're going to have hopefully sometime in the next month or two <laughs> a uh, wither farm here. A wither, well, wither skull farm here. And we also made sure to protect mr piggy here uh i still need to give him a name and you know what uh if you guys have any ideas for names for the pig here and names for the green sheep that went on that epic flight with me back at the starter district uh leave them in the comments because they definitely both deserve names this guy's like our mascot and that sheep is just legendary i mean come on i mean flying sheep let's be real I want to fly out so you can see what it looks like from the outside because I'm kind of proud of it. Actually, let's fly up to... Is there a place up here I can land? Ah! Okay. Look at this. I put buttons all over it too because I think it gives a really cool, like, grainy texture. Like, really rocky, rubbly texture. Rubbly, rubbly, rubbly. Don't you dare light me on fire while I'm filming a clip. Oh, I want you dead. All right. Well, let's get some wither skulls. Hopefully we can get lucky here. Nope. Pretty cool looking volcano, I think. It's good enough for me to conceal our nice new big portal and have a nice little look out spot. Everything's spawn proof. So, you know, we got slabs on the floor and 
buttons on the outside and ghasts cannot see me but i can see them so they're kind of cute like that but not normally i hate them i mostly hate blazes so that also is nice to not have to deal with those guys anymore so as we pop through the base this looks pretty normal to you maybe this looks a little new right well there's a lot more new than that whoop as i turn around here we have added a whole new wing to the base malik had a great idea a while ago to have a contrast to the dark side and have a light side and i loved that idea so i kind of went with end stone because it matches you know the black stone it's the opposite and i went with the same idea of having the two different colored woods but i wanted to keep it light so i went with the oak and the birch and it's pretty much the identical thing oh, and then we got oak and birch here on the sides as well like we have the different stems so it matches it's awesome we come down here this is all the same and what this is going to be this is not completed obviously because we don't have the things that are going to fill it up which is a bunch of villagers we are going to make this a villager trading hall it's gonna be really awesome so we've got a couple villagers here we got them from Lady Zentra for helping out and there's another guy over here he's lonely by himself and yeah so that'll be coming in a future episode I don't know which episode but it'll be coming and so over here we have ourselves a turtle farm a scoot farm no scoots in there right now but we'll be getting some soon looks like with some baby turtles they're so small and so cute they are so small in comparison to the adult turtles aren't they it's amazing and we have a wool farm we have all the different colors of wool in this farm all 16 colors so that is pretty sweet and the last upgrade that we have here in the base is this what is this you ask this is an armory boing so this side is my side and this side is Malik's side. Malik hasn't put any armor on his armor stands, it looks like. But I have some on mine. I have my netherite chest plate, my nether hat, and my spare wings on there. And then in here, I can put things like extra armor, extra elytras, uh, and um, other weapons and such. And will go into there as well. Shields and totems. So yeah, this is my little armory room. I think it's pretty cool. Got two doors quite the same as the other side. Doors that open top bottom like that. Those are all the upgrades that I have on the base in this episode. But over here, I can show you some of the progress that Malik has made. Look at all this slime at the bottom. Boing. So cool. So yeah, then there's this thing. Uh, Malik built this, I guess, out of spite for me putting torches on the ground in this spot. He likes this spot for... Uh, fortuning his oars and i would knock them down myself and put torches because i would afk at the slime farm and i would want you know mobs not to spawn here but you know he said no no you and built this to make me not put torches there so point taken yoink so I've signed on to the server this morning and I've come over here to my little bed area and of course there is something that I did not leave here before. There is a chest with a sign on it and Vince you know what must be done. Uh, let's see what's inside. Chicken's head and some carrots. Definitely a fan of golden carrots and a chicken's head. Um, I think I definitely do know what must be done. Let's go do it. So in Beagle's Metacraft series, a couple episodes ago, he found a new friend right here that was left for him at his base. And there's a sign here on the back of the head. If we can plop down. Your base looked lonely. Z. The only person on the server with a Z is Lady Zentra. So putting two and two together here with this sign and what was left at my base also maybe a little private discord message uh we can easily deduce that lady zentra has given us the task of adding another friend to beagle's property so i'm gonna scout out the area and see what the best option is to provide beagle with even more company so if i remember correctly in beagle's base 
back here, he has, oh my goodness, those poor chickens. He has a uh, chicken cooker. Oh no, there's no more chickens in there. <gasps> Did he kill all of his chickens? <gasps> oh my goodness. All right, something, something terrible happened here. And I'm going to blame Beagle for all of it. So we're going to shame him for killing all of his chickens by putting another chicken right here, right in front of his base, staring right at him, judging him for what he has done. Okay, let's do a little role play here. So we're imagining we are Beagle and we just, you know, we need to go to bed. It's nighttime. We got to sleep through the night. So we're going to hit the bed. And then when we wake up in the morning and we look out our window, what? I expected to see a sunrise, yet I see a big old chicken instead. So let's go check it out. He has more company right outside his front door. How wonderful is that? And don't worry, Beagle, um, I'll wash those sheets. I know there's a pandemic going on. Can't be spreading germs. No big deal. Do you hear that? I hear that. Whoop. Look at this. I I don't think that Beagle will be lonely anytime soon. He's got a lot of company with him now. Maybe a little bit of more company, you know? A little bit of, a little more company. Oh no, <laughs> he just died in the wall. And also, if this wasn't enough of a threat to say, don't be murdering chickens, yippee ki yay, mother -bucker. Let's fly up here and get a good view of it. Oh, she's a biggin. She's a biggin. Ta-da! They can see each other. How nice. All right, mission accomplished. Well... I was about to say it's getting late and it's time to go to bed and I was about to end the episode. Well, the end episode's going to end anyway, but it looks like I've got something else to do on the server before I go. A uh, thunderstorm just started, so I'm going to go try to get some mob heads. But this is where the episode ends. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.